So welcome everybody to the, um, this year's 2012 uh, awarding of the Raymond and Beverly Sackler Prize in the Physical Sciences this year for work, achievements in theoretical or observational studies of extrasolar planets. So we're now in the um, ceremonial part of this meeting, which will be followed by brief talks by our distinguished Sackler Prize laureates. So to begin the ceremony, I would like to invite Professor Eran Rabani, our Tel Aviv University Vice President for Research, to say a few words. Well, uh, I want to look at the laureates as well, so I'm going to stand on side. Uh, welcome, everyone. And uh, I'm not Yossi Klafter, from those of you who are uh, looking at the program. Unfortunately, uh, he had a very important meeting and he had to uh, cancel this um, presentation. Um, I'm doing this for the first time, but actually I was on the committee last year uh, awarding the Sackler Award in Physical Sciences in, uh, in Chemistry. And I have been uh, involved in this since, I would say, even day one of this, uh, of this prize, which in chemistry went to 2001, I would say, and in physics, I think, that was in the year 2000. Uh, we alternate every year. And uh, a few years ago, I, I met uh, the Sacklers, twice actually, and one of the reasons I wanted to meet them was to um, express first our gratitude to establishing this award, but also to tell them about the, the laureates and what do, we, what, what do we do with the money, the generous money they give the university and we give the laureates. So uh, you're joining a very, very uh, prestigious family of laureates. I think this is the 12th year, maybe 13th time, I'm not sure. And um, since day one, uh, this, the, this prize was given to, I would say, the best people in the field under the age of, of uh, 40. And uh, certainly the list is very, very distinguished and, uh, and you're becoming a part of this, part of the, of the family of the Sackler Award on one hand. And this means two things. A, that this is a signature in your mid-career that you have done something very good in the past, but also this would, should lead to uh, many fruitful collaborations in the future um, with the faculty here because we, we really value um, the scientific achievements and we look forward to working and collaborating with you in the future. Uh, when I uh, met the Sacklers, um, they were very happy, actually, to learn about the, the award, but they were, they all, they're also eager to meet with the, with the laureates. So if you have an opportunity uh, to visit New York City, uh, go ahead and meet with them. They would be very happy to do so. Um, I, I want to say a few words about the, the prize itself and, and the field given this year. And my background is, is in uh, theoretical chemistry. I'm from the chemical physics department. And uh, so I know very little about uh, astronomy and astrophysics. But I was fortunate last year uh, to spend a sabbatical at Berkeley as a Miller visiting professor. And uh, during that year, uh, the Miller Institute was controlled, I would say, by astrophysicists. One of them was uh, uh, Perel Mutter. And uh, he invited many, many astrophysicists to give talks every week. So I learned about various different fields, which are not directly related. This was mainly about dark matter and dark energy. And I'm looking forward to actually hear about other sides as well. Um, there's one thing that I really envy in astrophysics. Uh, being a scientist and a theoretical chemist, um, we usually have to uh, give an, an, you know, an excuse for why we're doing what we're doing. When we write a grant proposal, we have to say this would be useful for that and useful for something else. And the reason I'm envy is that I feel that in astrophysics, you really don't have to do that. It's really one of the, one of the basic signs that, 
It's really one of the basic science that I would say is still very pure in the sense that you can really do uh, things without uh, justifying why you want to. It comes out of, of curiosity. And I wish this would be true for all the science in, in, you know, in, on campus, but it's not. I went yesterday to, um, to this uh, uh, meeting on, uh, of the Dan David Laureates uh, on, on the human genome, and uh, one of the speakers uh, uh, quoted, quoted uh, Feynman uh, about, uh, I think it was a wrong quote, but then he corrected to the right quote, which said something like, uh, if you cannot create it, uh, you don't understand it. And uh, maybe it's true about life science. I feel that it's certainly not the case in astrophysics because we cannot create it. So this is why I envy astrophysics in many ways. Um, so I wish you uh, all the best in the future. And I'm very happy for this award this year. And I look forward to your uh, presentations. Thank you.